this video we're going to create a basic snow scene on a fruit cake. So taking a small fruit cake, mine's four inches, so we've got a clean board, dust it with the icing sugar puff, take a quantity of marzipan and roll out. Keep rolling till it's about half a centimetre thick, just slightly thinner. Take an apricot jam, put this on the top of your fruit cake, keeping the flat bottom now facing upwards. Just make sure your board is uh, well sugared so that nothing sticks. Cut around, leaving about a centimetre gap all the way around the cake. Taking your smoother, gradually push your marzipan in till it reaches the sides of your cake. Neaten it off a little bit and just smooth around the edges so it's smooth and matches with the cake sides. Like so. Clear off your board. Just keep it dusted with icing sugar to make sure things don't stick. Roll your marzipan into a long sausage. Long enough that it will go around the side of the cake. Make sure it's wide enough as well as long enough. Okay, so that's going to fit around our cake. We're now going to trim the edge so we've got a straight edge all the way down. I'm going to take some more apricot jam again and spread, making sure you've not got too many bits from the jam on your marzipan. Put your cake against the edge and roll, cutting off any extra at the end. Now turn your cake upside down, any extra bits over the top, fold them over and smooth them down with your smoother and that's the bottom of your cake. Turn the right way up and smooth again all the way around the edges so you've got a nice straight finish. Okay, we'll clear away the marzipan. We're going to repeat the process with fondant. I like to colour mine a blue, rolling it out long enough to go around the sides of the cake again. making sure it's rolled out evenly as we go along. I have sped this up so that you guys don't get too bored watching the video. Taking just a bit of water, or you can use alcohol, brush on the, on the icing, take your cake, roll along the edge again, making sure it's covered all the way around, cutting off any extra and again slice in the back, remove the extra from over and underneath like so. Push it together gently, just trying to cover the seam. Now neaten the edges by rolling it on its side and cutting off any excess. Like so. Same on the bottom, repeating it and cutting off any excess icing. Okay, turn the right way, taking your smoother, just flatten on the top and make sure it's smooth around the sides, just to give it a neat to finish. We're not going to ice the top blue now either, we're going to keep that free for a different colour icing. So we're going to take some white fondant now, which is going to be the snow on top of our cake, just in the board, rolling it out, it needs to be slightly bigger than the top of your cake because it's going to overlap over the edges. So that fits. Just going to make sure there's plenty on there and we're going to cut a curvy line all the way around the edge and that's going to act as a snow effect going over the top of the cake. Just smooth it off a little bit around the edges with your fingers making sure there's no jaggedy points from where we've cut it with a knife. Again alcohol or water, brush on the top of your cake, place on the icing and smooth on the top. Gently push it down with your fingers all the way around the edge and you'll see just how easy that is just to make a really quick snow scene. You can take more time at home to make sure it is a little bit neater than what I've done in the video. Now taking your board that we've made earlier, place your cake in the centre, 
more central than what I have done. Now, royal icing in a piping bag, just little dots all the way around to create a snow effect. Keep doing that all the way around, as you can see. You don't have to use royal icing, you can just do no, use normal icing sugar mixed with water. Just make sure it is of a thick consistency. Excuse my head getting in the way. Once you have done that all the way around, we're just going to add a couple of little snowballs just for extra detail that match the snow scene. You can stick them on with water or with glue, edible glue of course. I find water works just fine and there you have it, nice and simple snow scene. And that's it, finished. If you liked this video and would like to see more, please subscribe to Zoe's Fancy Cakes YouTube channel. Thanks.